Is it possible to fall in love with ourselves? Hey guys, it's John back again. I had a comment come in on the videos that I wanted to answer, and it, it's a great question because it really does uh, lead us to having a, a, a higher quality of life. So let me just read the comment. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could fall in love with ourselves the way we fall in love with other people? I think that most people have experienced unconditional love towards another human, parents, a child, or even a pet. What keeps us from loving ourselves in that way? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a great question. It's a, it's a wonderful question. And yes, we all have the capacity to love. We all have the capacity to love unconditionally. However, we all also have life experiences. And coming into the physical plane, there's, there's always a conditional love that we deal with. Because pure love, you know, the people who have near-death experiences when they cross over, they experience pure love. And they're like, it's a love I've never felt before. It's an experience I've never had before. And they, and they, they kind of talk about it from the aspect of it's something that you, it's indescribable, unexplainable, right? But when we come down here to the physical plane, we are literally experiencing a separation from that pure love in some, in some facet. Now, I'm not saying a complete separation from it. I'm saying we are experiencing a separation from the knowingness of it, from the understanding of it. But it's never away from us. But what is it that keeps us separate? What keeps us from loving ourselves in, the, in a way that is unconditional and pure? Well, in being here in the physical, you are, we are here to experience that dichotomy so that we can come to know that love more fully. And when we come into the physical world, we are still able to give love unconditionally. You know, because that's the way we know it should be. But we often will not give it to ourselves because of the fact that that separation makes us feel as if we are unworthy or un, 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 um, or that we have de basically doubt that we're worthy. And so we, we have a hard time because we're judging ourselves. We judge ourselves by, by our appearance. We judge ourselves by our intelligence. We, we judge ourselves by our experience the things that have happened in our life, our experiences. And when we judge ourselves, we're literally saying to God, universe, consciousness, you know, yada, yada, whatever you call it, we're literally saying to ourselves that we are unworthy. We are, we are separate from. And oftentimes we'll, we'll, we'll beat ourselves up. But what's the reason why we beat ourselves up? Because we're trying to be lovable. We, we're, we're, we are striving to, for that for that connection to that, that pure essence of love. And that's part of the reason we're here is to experience that separation, to experience that, that uh, illusion that love is not there. And we do that through our, our own awareness, right? Now, the word ego just means self-awareness. And oftentimes people will get lost in their, in the, their self-awareness. Some people will get lost to the point of being a narcissist, and some people will get lost to the point of being selfless. And in, in those two extremes, they're experiencing their separation in different ways. We come here and we, we have a hard time because we are constantly measuring ourselves against pure love. And by measuring yourself against pure love with the, with the concept that we're separate from it, you know, it, it is a, a feeling, it is a, an experience that is so big and so profound and we feel less than it. And because we feel less than it, we, we don't love ourselves in that way. And <clears throat> when you come to the place where you begin to truly love yourself, what's really interesting is when you love yourself equally with others, you suddenly find that the world will love you in return. When you, when you love yourself enough to do the things that you love in life, the people who will see you for you and love you for you will come and surround you. But the judgments and the, and the harshness that we put upon ourselves is to try to live into what, you, what we are deeming to be lovable. And the reality of it is, is you're, it, it, it's a condition you're placing on yourself. It's a conditional love. Be you unapologetically. And the people who are align in alignment and resonance with you will come and surround your experience, right? But you have to love yourself enough to say, 
I don't need, want, or, or I'm going to try to do anything else. I am going to be me. I am going to be me to my fullest. And when I am me to my fullest, what happens is the world sees you to your fullest. And you giving yourself unconditional love will draw unconditional love into your experience. And so the reason we, we have a hard time is because we're dropped out of being the oneness of God into the feeling of not being one with God. And so our judgment of self is trying to live up to that pure love that we know is there, but we're, we're, we feel like we're striving to get to it. And that striving to get to it is, is where we doubt and where we have our self-worth issues and all those things in not feeling that we're worthy. And of course, in your subconscious belief, a lot of the religions will tell you you're not worthy. You know, you were born in sin. You're, you know, you're in all these horrible things that were taught and trained into our brains from a young age that, that, were, that were terrible people. Where it were, you know, we, we killed Jesus and all these horrible things that we're, we're saddled with. Um, and the reality of it is, is, is all of those things are, are, first of all, not true. Second of all, they're all in the past. All of those things are in the past. What are you doing in the here and now? And, and by staying here in the here and now, loving yourself enough to do the things you love and to go express the things you love into the world, then the world will show you the outcome you desire. So that's my thought on this. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of the New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.